Hey, phone sites. Uh, this is Druby. I wanted to reach out and put together this video and help you figure out how to set up a multi-page funnel. Now, there's a couple different reasons that you would want to do this, and we'll try to walk through each one of those as we go here. Uh, so let's start with creating a new site, and we'll just say. Okay, so we're going to build out a web page and ideally what I'm going to show you how to do here is create multiple page funnels that allow you to draw a user farther into the program uh, and generate a little bit higher intent for your longer funnel. Or another popular thing to do is creating a thank you page or a call now page. That way after your prospect has submitted their information, you're able to put some more data in front of them or give them a further opportunity to become a client right away instead of having to wait for your follow-up calls. Uh, so let's kind of walk through one by one here how we're going to set that up. So this is your main page. You're going to scroll through here. You might put in some data or some text that says something like, this way to set up a multi-page So like I'm saying, in this one, what you might be doing here is Having someone land on your page and you want to draw them in, you want to keep reading and get them to go through a couple different pages and show that they really do have an intent uh, to sign up for your program. Sometimes you'll see the stories and then say, well, if you need more, click here to continue. So we're going to go with something like that here. Okay, so let's say we've got our data. We put everything in here. We've got our form set. Okay, so we're going to save this. We're going to go back into our main setup page. We're going to add a second page to our funnel. So again, this is kind of what I talked about in regards to you have the option for a thank you page. You can set up a call now page. Let's, uh, let's start with a thank you page. Let's do something simple. So we want to install a second thank you page for our funnel. And the first thing I always do when I add a thank you page is I go into the settings and I get rid of this weird backslash text because that doesn't look very clean and if someone's walking through my funnel I want to make sure that everything about it looks done for a reason you don't want anything to just be randomized there so we're gonna make our page uh, URL for this thank you page just backslash thank you pretty simple and it's easy to use because it's just gonna stay with whatever your main domain name is um, so we're gonna do that again you can customize this information you can change things around a little bit and so we're gonna click save here. You'll see that it updates this domain. And so we need to go, we wanna figure out how do we link this page from our main page to this page? You know, how are we gonna get them to fill out their information and then land on this page? So we're gonna go back into our main homepage here, into the settings tab. We're gonna scroll down to this box right here that says redirect on success. Now you have a couple options. You can have it go to a specific URL. Maybe you want them to fill out your form and land on your Facebook page. Uh, so you're just gonna type in facebook.com backslash whatever your Facebook page information might be. Uh, you'll see that you have to make sure you enter this HTTPS uh, information. And I always use the one with an S because that's gonna make them land on a secure page. And obviously everyone's gonna feel more comfortable landing on a page that shows us being secure. Uh, so that's one option. The other option, like we just talked about, is setting up for your thank you page. Uh, so if you click on this little drop down box, every site that you add into your main domain, such as a thank you or a call now or a secondary page, which you're gonna go through next, uh, is gonna show up here as an option. So with this one, I just want it to land on my thank you page. So I'm gonna click on this one and what will happen, click save. You always gotta make sure you save these changes. Go back in. Let's test this out. So we're gonna to go to our main domain. We are gonna click view. See that all of the information is here as we designed it. Let's say true. Test.com. Okay, let's go. And you'll see that it redirected me from my first page to this thank you page. Uh, so that's really a nice thing that you can do uh, to walk through people. So after they've submitted their information, they can get a thank you. You could perhaps have a short video of yourself or 
you know, some more information about your business or a way for them to get back to where they want to be. So you'll see here, if I click on go back to homepage, nothing's happening. Why is that? Well, I forgot to add in my link in my redirect URL. So let's go back into our phone site setup dashboard and go back to the thank you page. And this is a perfect example of how you can set it up so that after they've landed on your thank you page, you want them to go back to your business Facebook page. So we're going to type in the HTTPS backslash information, facebook.com, maybe if I can spell it, and then we'll say we want them to land on our page. So boom, save. So again, we're always going to save this information as we make updates. Let's go to view live and check it out. Okay, good. Let's click on this. And you'll see that it's going to redirect me right to Facebook page here. So that's one way that you can use the redirect information, uh, setting up a thank you page or having them land on your Facebook. So let's go back into the dashboard. And let's set up like a multi funnel. Let's say that you've got a lot of information that you want to get out there, but you don't want to word vomit all over that first page. So you're going to create and tell a story that's going to drag them along. And you're going to say, okay, for more information, we want you to click on the next page. So let's get in here to our phone sites dashboard again, maybe if we can get this loaded up. And let's set up a multi-page funnel for you just to give you an idea how this is going to work. Uh, so we've got our main page here. We've got our thank you page. Let's add a page in the middle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and I'm going to take out these forms because you can set up your page uh, that you can have them move through without having to submit any information until the page that you prefer. So let's say click here for more. Save. And then again, we need to go into our settings. And this is where we can change our page redirect. So let's go in and create a middle page for our funnel. And I'll show you how to redirect and move through this accordingly. So let's just do your basic opt-in secondary page. And tell more information here. Blah. Uh, oh my gosh, my spelling is terrible today. All right, so we've got our information in there. Save. We need to go into the settings. Again, we want to change this page URL because we don't want it to look all randomized and goofy. So let's say page two. Let's keep it simple. Uh, let's click save. Okay, and so when people land on our second page now, what I'm going to want to happen is after they submit on this page two, is I want them to land on my thank you page. So I'm going to go in here to this redirect box, and you'll see that it has added this additional page two that we just created. So on page two, when they hit my submit button, I want them to land on the thank you page. So I'm going to set that up as my redirect. Click save. Let's go back into our main dashboard to our main page. Because again, we need to make sure that this page is set up to walk through our funnel accordingly. So we see that we have our submit button. Let's go into our settings tab again, redirect on success. Now we want them to land on page two. So we're gonna put that in there, click save. And then let's go back through and let's do a walkthrough on this funnel and make sure everything works accordingly. So main page view. Okay, now, now so land on your funnel. Uh, they're going to read through this information here. You're going to put in a call to action that says, hey, continue reading on the next page. Click here for more. It's going to move me into page two of our funnel. So in this part, you can, you know that there's some interest. Now you can start really pushing your value of your product and what you can do for the client. Put your call to action down here, enter your information for more. Through test at test.com. And let's go to the next page. You'll see it lands me on the thank you page here, uh, which is exactly how we wanted it to work. We wanted to have the land, user land on one main page, move to a second page, and then finally end up on our third page, which allows them to uh, see some additional thank you information. And then at the end, we can have this button say, go back to Facebook. That way, when they click on it, we know that it's going to redirect them right to your Facebook business page and probably land them right where they started to it. Uh, so you can hopefully grab a like real quick while they're on that page and before they go back to their main screen. And 
obviously, if there's any questions or anything that you guys need help with setting up these multi-page funnels or anything else in regards to phone sites, I certainly look forward to hearing from you. I hope you have a wonderful day.